Most of my family have come to use that expression and then start to laugh because everybody in my family knows that I have a beagle. My beagle's name is Roxy. Anybody who has a beagle knows they get up in the morning, they think about food, they walk through their day, they think about food, and they dream at night of a T-bone steak. So when I would have parties and barbecues and family situations, I would tell people, here's the deal. My Roxy will eat your sandwich. My dog will go through that paper from the candy you left on the counter. So please be careful, it's part of the family, it's in her DNA. I took this one step further and I took it to the aunt who's annoying or the uncle who's grumpy or your nephew who perhaps is a little obnoxious. We all have things about us that could bother somebody else. Nobody is perfect. Instead of getting uptight, instead of not wanting to attend a function, how about if you started looking at the funny in the situation and accepting people for who they are? Because like the dog breeds, where there are many different qualities, same thing speaks for people. We're all different, we're all quirky. And so maybe what we ought to do instead of judging that is embrace it. And isn't it ironic?